In this video, we're going to change some of our directions from previous videos. We're going to discuss managerial accounting. So what is the difference between financial accounting and managerial accounting? In a nutshell, financial accounting is about recording economic events and then reporting that data to stakeholders most of which are external to the company. Managerial accounting is a process of developing budgets, plans, um, uh, in corp or, or implementing strategies within the business. The, that reporting in its many varied forms is internal to the company. That data is never provided to the public. It is part of the internal proprietary kind of information for the company. That's the difference between the two. Now, how does this actually work? If we look at it, if we look at what are the different kinds of features of accounting information, we can look at the users, frequency, purpose, we can look at the contents, and then we can talk about a verification process. So for financial accounting, again, I mentioned it's external stakeholders, stockholders, creditors, regulators. Certainly managers are involved, right? They, they're interested. Managerial accounting though is internal only. Only the officers of the company management and its employees, that should be included here, because they will see some of this information and data. How frequency? Well, uh, financial accounting is reported quarterly and then again annually. For managerial accounting, it says whenever we need to do this. Quite frankly, most of the time, there will be a monthly uh, report about what we think will happen in the next month, right? We're gonna budget forward in the business. We then make comparisons, analysis, try to improve that process. But within that monthly, some businesses might break that down <coughs> into weekly, right? So we can say, hey, how many people do I need to have at work next week, right? We need to plan for our labor. Right? Do I need to order inventory for it next week? Right? That's the type of information we're looking for. The purpose for financial accounting, they say general purpose, but this is to report the financial soundness of the company. Managerial accounting is all special purpose. And quite frankly, this is one of the reasons why there's no regulation in managerial accounting because it's dependent on the company itself. Content, right? We're gonna talk about the business. It's gonna be condensed, right? It's gonna be accrual-based accounting. They're gonna follow GAAP. And again, as I mentioned, in managerial accounting, none of that is going to be true. In the end, how, how's the information verified? Again, Financial accounting is going to be audited by a CPA. There's no independent audit of managerial accounting. Now, obviously, we're going to have to count on good, legitimate information. So there will be some cross checks within the business to make sure that uh, no one department uh, makes an error in uh, prediction or makes an error in the plan and quite frankly to look for somebody that might be gaming the system if you understand. So what kind of classes of costs are we talking about in manufacturing? We need to ask some very basic questions. What costs are involved in making a product or providing a service? You know, we, we make furniture. How much how much wood does it take to make the furniture? Uh, how many hours does it take in labor to do the different aspects, right? We need to have somebody cut the wood. We need to have somebody uh, uh, construct the thing. 
We then have to have somebody um, uh, put varnish on it, right? Make it look pretty. What are all those costs? If we decrease production volume, what costs are going to change, right? What impact will automation have on our costs? And again, in the end, we're always looking for how can we best control costs? So we're going to look at three basic kinds of manufacturing costs, direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. These are the primary costs associated with the cost of goods sold. So what are the, uh, the materials costs? Well, we have raw materials. These are basic materials, right? These are parts, maybe. The things that are used to build the assets. So we have some direct materials. It would be, for instance, again, making furniture. It's the wood, right? Those That wood has to be accounted for in the process of making um, uh, the furniture, right? It's you, you can count it. You can see it. Indirect materials, that they're either not physically part of the finished product or they're kind of impo impractical to trace, right? These uh, things here, the indirect materials, we're going to consider them part of what we call manufacturing overhead. A good example of this might be grease for a truck if we're uh, maintaining our truck fleet. But if you come back and think about the uh, the furniture, right? Um, you know, uh, let's let's think about the um, uh, sandpaper, right? To 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 smooth out the surface, right? Are we going? Is there a way that we're going to track how much sandpaper we use per tr per piece of furniture? No, it's going to be incorporated as a total. Again, that's what we refer to as an indirect material. Labor is another way. We're going to have direct labor. These are the folks that are physically producing the product, right? These are the people that are cutting the wood, that are constructing the uh, piece of furniture, that are painting the piece of furniture. That's direct labor. Indirect labor is any other kind of factory employee that has no physical association with the finished product. This is going to be things like salaries, right? Um, the, the plant manager, right? Some of the foremen, right? That Those folks, even though they're part of the production process, they are not part of the physical production process. Manufacturing costs. Again, we're going to talk about overhead, factory overhead. Again, these are all those costs that we've been talking about that are indirectly associated, right? So they're not direct materials and direct labor, right? We include these, again, they're referred to as factory overhead, indirect manufacturing costs, and sometimes they even refer to it as the burden, right? A little less descriptive, but... That's how it's frequently used in some businesses. Pr product cost, then. We have to think of the difference between product cost and period cost. Product costs include the direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. They are the cost associated with actually producing the product, right? So this, these costs, they're really not an expense until the product is actually sold. So we have product costs, manufacturing, direct materials, direct labor, some of these manufacturing overhead costs. Those are the ones we've been talking about. But then there's some other costs that they refer to as period costs. These are non-manufacturing. So this would be like the selling expenses, the uh, uh, the administrative salaries. Now, we're not talking about the plant managers. We're talking about the CEO, the vice presidents of the company, the other uh, employees that are salaried that are not part of the production process. So let's look at how some of these 
work, right? So here we have we're gonna uh, we're gonna build snowmobile uh, snow snowboards, right? Um, so what are the costs? How are we going to assign these costs? Well, material. Well, we know that's a product cost. Costs thirty bucks per board. It's a direct material. Labor cost. Product direct labor. Depreciation on faculty uh, on factory equipment. Well, that's a cost. It's part of production, but we can't assign it to a specific product. So that is a manufacturing cost. Property taxes on the factory building, right? We're not going to attach this to individual items. It is manufacturing overhead. What about advertising costs? Well, again, we can't as assess them towards any one product. And it really has nothing to do with production, so that's a period cost. Likewise with sales commissions. What about maintenance salaries? Right? Again, factory 45000 a year. That is a product cost. Again, we can't put that to, because they're not producing the product, they're maintaining the equipment. That's manufacturing overhead. Likewise with the salary plant manager. Then, of course, we have the cost of shipping the boards, right? That has nothing to do with production. That is a period cost. So, again, when we look at this particular company and the cost, material, labor, depreciation, property taxes, maintenance salaries, the salary of plant managers, all of those are manufacturing costs. So the total manufacturing cost for this period is this $846,000. So thanks for watching the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.